What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode and we will play Wolfsburg in the Champions League quarterfinals and we will have big games against Leeds and Aston Villa as well and we have collected only one point in the previous two games in the Premier League title race so we need to pick up four men quickly Comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen Thank you so much for your awesome support Sorry that I took a little bit break from a Liverpool carrier mode I'm training hard because I'm playing in a futsal championship uh, another season is starting tomorrow so I'm uh, training very hard to be in a best the, my best form and getting fit and ready for the football football season and let me know if you've played in any football leagues and how it's going in the comments below and I need to rotate just a little bit because the Wolfsburg game is three days from now so Bellingham, uh, Elliot, Konate starts, uh, Doku gets a run out as well and this Leeds United team is a very good team Well this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line it's Leeds United they face Liverpool Welcome to Elland Road the Leeds United Stadium is an iconic stadium I'm actually really happy that they put this on FIFA because it's an iconic stadium with very passionate fans so I expect a tough game here Wow, Rafinha Alisson, oh my goodness Go on Jota please, go on Jota you're faster than anyone and Diogo Jota and Elliot, no and Renato Sanchez and again oh my goodness the goalkeeper Almost buries it into his own net. No! Ah, oh, that is a joke! Absolutely incredible football, man! I, I had like four chances to score, somehow we didn't, and from the next attack Leeds United punish us and it's their best player Rafinha, who didn't anybody buy Rafinha, I will never know, and that is so easy, why is nobody marking Rafinha, Tsimikas is too late, oh my goodness, can you believe this, that's Rafinha's first goal of the season, how is a player of his quality with 87 rating not score in 20 games, and then in the 21st game of course against us, he scores his first goal. And Bellingham. And they find a gap in the defense. Sanchez! Oh my goodness, how did he miss that? No. Have a near son. Really? Alison! Let's go, Alison! Come on! What to save Alison, but thankfully the player was offside. Go on, Jota, please! Diogo Jota, he misses as well! What is up with the finishing? Go on, Jota. Jota, boom! Yes! What a finish! Finally! Diogo Jota finds his shooting boot and that is a brilliant celebration to boot and Alisson's saves at 1-0 are now even more important and on the half volley is Jota, I always back him to score he should have already buried his first chance and that is a lethal finish, you beautiful Doku Are we Elliot? And Doku Doku is in! Brilliant first touch! And what a finish! Jeremy Doku! Let's go! That is absolutely wonderful! And this is why I'm playing some of the second team players. They can show me what they can do. And that first touch is what makes the goal. And of course the finish is just perfect into the roof of the net. Jeremy Doku has arrived to the party, guys! Oh no. Evanilson! Alison! Oh, what a lucky break that was. Absolutely lucky. And look at Salah. Oh my goodness, please Salah. You need a good first touch. Oh, that is a brilliant first touch and Salah! Let's go! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it! The Leeds 
United hit the bar, they were inches away from scoring and from literally the next attack, we decide the game, what a first touch by Mo Salah. Oh, this is so important to win this game, after two win this game. Are you kidding me? Van Dijk? Oh, wow. No way. Oh my goodness! What a goal! Couldn't do anything. He just decided to have a shot from like 30 yards. One of the best goals that you will see the computer score this season or any season. I mean, look, this is not even a, a chance. And he puts it perfectly top corner. He can't be surprised that was a porch. So Miku, please! No! Yes, Renato Sanchez. No! Oh, what a terrible mistake! No way! Alisson! Ooh! Are we idiot? To Kiesa. Go on, Kiesa! Kiesa! Oh, so Miku, please! What a shit! And what a way for Song Min Kyu, the South Korean talent, to score his first goal since he came back from his loan spell. What a finish. I mean, I tried to brute force my way into the goal. And he could be as big as Hung Min Son for Tottenham if he de keeps developing. Oh, that is... Oh, that is a brilliant goal. They completely outpassed my defense. And this is why it was so important to score the fourth goal. We are still leading 4-3. But what a thrilling game this was. Go on. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely insane! What an absolutely dirty challenge! And Tilo Kerrer, go into the shower and think about what you have done. You could have ended Doku's season. That is, oh my goodness, that, oh, that is brutal. And we already scored a free kick with Trent Marks Ronald. Let's see if I can do it again. Trent! Oh, this might just be the most entertaining season of it all because we had another 4-3-7 goal thriller. You are the beat Burnham of 4-3 away from home and now we have done it with Leeds United as well and this was a big test and we came through. And I think overall we deserved it even though Leeds had more expected goals, we had more shots, same amount of shots on target. So it was a pretty even game but because we were more ruthless in front of goal we managed to win the game and a lot of our attacking players scored as you can see but amazingly Rafinha was the man of the match with his first goal of the season and it was very important to win because Leicester City have beaten Sheffield United as well and also Man United won and let's see what did Chelsea do Chelsea also beat Arsenal so Arsenal's dreadful season continues uh, Chelsea and Man United are in the top four and I mean look at the mid-table Tottenham, Everton, Arsenal mired in mid-table and Finally, we sold one of our young, original Liverpool players who just didn't develop. And remember that we still have Mane, Robertson and Fabinho out injured. And thankfully, Naveda's rating went up. He now has 80 finishing. And Song Min Kyu is now also 80 rated. And now it's time for the Champions League quarterfinals. And we got lucky with the draw because we could have had Man City, Bayern, Munich, PSG, Leipzig. But we got Wolfsburg. And there are also some smaller sides like Lyon and Valencia in the quarterfinals. Our next game is against Wolfsburg in the Champions League quarterfinal. They have a pretty solid team, but our team is better. So so we should go through. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It's Liverpool, they take on Wolfsburg. Welcome to the Champions League quarterfinals. I've never played uh, against Wolfsburg in the Champions League before, so I'm really excited about this game. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, Alisson, what a save. The team's results ahead of their own personal milestones, but to beat Salah, Musa, he missed it. Man, so many people have been focusing on ahead of this Go on. game. Go on, Bobby, Femino, what? I did. I wanted to shoot. My finger must have slipped because I inadvertently did a fake shot. How unlucky! There we go. 
Oh no way, no, Salah, you did not just do that. Oh my goodness, Kluivert! <laughs> Unbelievable! Of course, even from there, they would square the ball. I can see it so many goals from like these cutbacks. But it's if it works, I mean, I was desperate to try and clear it with Gomez. Should have scored already, but instead I concede. And this Wolfsburg team is better than I expected. Go on. Bobby! Bobby Firmino, what a save! How? I'm really pushing, guys. Kiesa, please, Kiesa! And I the ball does, just doesn't fall for us. It just doesn't fall for us. Go on, Luis Diaz! No, he missed the target! Go on, Trent, nice. I see Jota, Salah. Go on. And the referee says play on. And in the middle of Kiesa! Let's go! Finally, the equalizer, Frederico Kiesa finally scores again in the Champions League. Let's go! Salah writes the challenge. And I see Kiesa wide open, and Luis Diaz was coming in as well. And here's Partey. Can they forge ahead? That is a tackle and a half. Go on, Salah. Diogo Jota. Jota to Naveda. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Alexander Arnold. Here's Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez. Luis Diaz. Two keys off. Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness gracious me. But yeah! Renato Sanchez. He just scored. One of the goals of the season from outside of the box he just puts it into the top corner and that's it. i was so mad that i missed that big chance with Kiesa that i just hit it with all my my <laughs> frustrations was in that shot and look at this it just curls in to the top corner between the Bosburg defender's legs let's go and oh my goodness bellingham he just came on and Jota, please! Diogo Jota! It's 3 1 in the last minutes! Liverpool gets another goal! And this could be crucial before the second leg. What a counter attack! I brought on Jude Bellingham for Luis Diaz, and he gets an assist. And Diogo Jota, this man is just in the form of his life. This will be the fourth season in a row where Diogo Jota is our top scorer. Six goals in seven games for in the Champions League. Oh my goodness, Wilfried Zaha now plays for Wolfsburg. That is amazing. Kluivert. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. When Wilfried Zaha gets a goal back and now the second leg is even more interesting. I mean, I, I thought the danger was over after that block, but another passing across goal type of goal. I just don't know how to defend these, honestly, guys. Come on, Van Dijk, that's yours! Oh my goodness, Van Dijk, how? Of course the referee is letting this go until Wolfsburg scored. Absolutely ridiculous. Six and a half minutes at the time when they said it will be two minutes. The Liverpool fans can still come away happy from this game because we managed to secure a victory in the first leg, but the second leg will be a very, very tough game as well. And it's similarly to the Leeds game. It was an even game. I think we deserved to win, but Wolfsburg at the, at the end came back into it. Kiesa and Jota were, I think, the outstanding players, but Salah got two assists as well. And what a goal by Renato Sanchez. How was Raul that Thomas the man of the match? I mean, we hit the woodwork with Kiesa, and then I was so mad, I just hit it with Renato Sanchez, and it goes in. That is, look at this. This will be the best angle. 
between the defender's legs and Lu I think Jota docks. What a finish by Renato Sanchez. Every tie is very close. PSG beat Leipzig 1-0 and in the, in the other ties there were 2-2 uh, and 1-1 one, one draws. So it's all to pay, play for in the second legs. Aston Villa are in the relegation zone and I don't know how because they have a pretty solid team and I'm playing my best lineup. Jude Bellingham gets a start but otherwise this is our best team at the moment. The cameras are fixed to one man. Four this goals in three games. You can't argue with that. Welcome to Anfield. Liverpool Aston Villa. Always a classic game but especially now that Aston Villa have Steven Gerrard as their manager and Liverpool will play Aston Villa away in the run-in, in the title run-in in real life so I'm looking forward to that game already. Buendia. Palacios. What can snow? Oh, Alisson, why do you come out? Oh my goodness, Aston Villa take the lead, but no, it's offside. Why did Alisson come out? I didn't call him out. No, how is he so wide open? Surely that's offside again. Wow, Aston Villa scored two offside goals. That is a double wake-up call for us. Van Dijk just holds his line brilliantly. Salah. And Renato Sanchez, what to say? Big chance. Let's go, Kiesa. That's a penalty. Did he touch the ball? Ah, he touches the ball. So that's why it's not a penalty. Luis Diaz. Go on. Salah in and Mosa! Straight at the keeper. Oh, is Salah's age starting to catch up with him? And Aston Villa on the counter attack? No. They will cut it back. Alisson. Oh, Alisson. Big save. McAllister, Watkins, Otavio, and Van Dijk. Brilliant. And go on, Salah. And I have a 2 on 1 situation. Kiza, surely he can finish it. No way. How did the keeper save that? Oh my goodness, Kiza misses a one-on-one. -on -one. Just like Salah. It's just not happening for us at the moment. Yes, Sanchez. Don't leave the ball there, Sanchez. What are you doing? Please. Oh, Jesus. No way. Ooh, Alisson. Attack. Go on, Salah. You can go in. Salah. To... Uh, Bellingham. Boom. Oh, that's blocked as well. Oh, where, where is he passing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Watkins. Oh, Alisson. Watkins on the wing. I need to stop him. Oh, this is a problem, Ramsey. What a block. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one really Buendia Ramsey Buendia open goal 92nd minute well done guys well done for missing all the chances and Aston Villa win the game with literally the last kick of the game and there has been no break in play for 30 minutes so I couldn't make any substitutions and we just gifted Aston Villa the win here because we missed countless one-on-ones and oh my goodness Alisson is on the ground and the Aston Villa player back heals it and Buendia into an open goal. I really don't understand how we lost this game. We had two one-on-ones against the Aston Villa goalkeeper and so many clear chances but we just failed to score any of them. But you can't really say Aston Villa don't deserve it. I mean they had a lot more clear chances than us. 3.6 expected goals. We really should have done a lot better. They had seven shots on target. Can't really complain too much. They were the better team. How was Alisson the man of the match? Get out of here EA. Come on. I mean he made six good saves but it should have been an Aston Villa player man of the match. I can't believe we have thrown away our big lead. At one point we were 13 points clear of Leicester. Now it's only two points with a game in hand because Leicester City amazingly beat Manchester City. So Leicester are here to stay in the title race and Chelsea have won as well. 
Which means that now we have one hell of a title race on our hands. The next game is the Merseyside Derby in the Premier League against Everton. Before that we play Wolfsburg in the Champions League, but we have to beat Everton. Otherwise Leicester could overtake us. And the pressure is for some reason getting to my players and I don't understand why. We conceded too many goals. 52 goals conceded in 31 games. It's just not good enough. If we want to win the title, we need to improve defensively. And Aston Villa with that victory are out of the relegation zone amazingly thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later good night